guys, the Edog Plays here, beginning you guys another video. Today is Tap Titans 2 Part 124. I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. Today is tournament day, so I'm absolutely pumped. This is quite a weird time for me to start a tournament, so I'm really, really hoping that we did not mess it up and I end up losing like three hours or something like that. That would really, really suck. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and as you can see, there's six hours, 33 minutes left. Like I said, I'm really, really hoping that I'm not getting into a tournament with like, you know, 21 hours left or 20, 20 hours left. Like something like that would be really, really unfortunate and would really, really suck. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and join anyways. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and join using a make it rain or anything like that. Because when you join the tournament, you have such a high advantage start that really a make it rain isn't going to help you all that much. And it's a little bit difficult to time. Uh, but we're getting this is one thing that i think i'm really really missing um in yesterday's video we talked about how much dragon fruit i have and i don't have very much um i think one of the issues is i'm not prestiging very much per day as you can see you get 10 per prestige and you can do up to 99 a day obviously 99 prestiges a day is something that's very very difficult to do and you have to play hours and hours um but really i could probably get a you know, during a tournament, I'm going to get a lot more of this. I'm prestiging a lot more often. Um, honestly, I don't play a whole lot off camera. I do a decent amount, uh, do what I kind of need to, to get our Book of Shadows up and things like that. Like I haven't played since last video, which we got our Book of Shadows up to like 84%, which I'm happy with. I normally shoot from 80 to 90%, but we're going to go and hop right into it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and prestige right now. Join this tournament. Like I said, my biggest concern right now is joining with like 21 hours left. That'd be a super... Okay, so I mean, I really can't, I guess, expect to join on a perfect time, but we did lose an hour and 45 minutes. And I bet you if I would have waited till 12 o'clock, uh, which is what, that's 18 hours since the tournament actually went live, you know, I, maybe I would have got a better time, but you know, an hour and 45 minutes, I can live with that. That's not horrible. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. We're starting at rank three, which is pretty nuts already. Uh, the guy's at 23,300. That's quite a bit above what my max is, about 1,100 stages above my max currently. Um, but everyone else, you know, I could be in second place very, very soon here. So we're going to um, buy this a couple times here. We're going to go max out Warcry, just buy Shadow Clone, Hand of Midas max out, and Deadly Strike max out. I think this is going to be a really, really good play um, to kind of go for, go for max, I guess. Go for our highest max stage. Um, we're going to go and buy that. We got our Spell Hero helmet on already which is perfect and this should take us quite far uh down the road here we got two pets here basky and violet um as a daily reward day three is an equipment piece and 25 uh dragon fruits so we're gonna go ahead and claim all that if we take a look uh common common and event but we have a mythic one so there's really no point in keeping that uh, we'll go ahead and start throwing some of these daggers down um, one thing I think we can do, and I will check a look in a minute, is actually go ahead and discover some new artifacts. I think we have enough um, relics here to go ahead and discover a new one. No? Okay, we're not that close. I thought we were really close. I think that was last tournament that I was thinking about that. But I thought we could go ahead and craft another artifact, which would be awesome. But like I said in uh, our last tournament, we did craft like two or three new artifacts, which was awesome. We actually got one of the S ones which was where is it oh no it wasn't that far down where the heck is it um who of the solace no oh maybe it did go far down not heart of the stones this one this one so we didn't get this one too long ago and um, this was an s1 which is awesome uh the titan slayer damage bonus increases the strength of all damage and critical damage which is just nuts uh we'll go ahead and claim that of course getting some free mana always nice to have go ahead and continuously use those daggers uh but like i said guys we have a really really good possibility here i mean there's still over two hours that people can join but if there's only seven people in here literally the worst reward we can get um is 250 diamonds 60 tournament points five weapon upgrades and four uh fortunate weapon upgrades so really already if there's only seven people in here we could still get some really really good rewards and I'm, i'd be happy with that but obviously here we are not shooting for seventh place we are going to shoot for first honestly guys i've, I've kind of come to the conclusion top three is still amazing top three is really really good and i'd be happy with top three for sure you know the rewards start to dip down quite a bit but top three is still really really good take a look at our raid battles here we got take dar and i believe we just don't attack 
the left hand but i want to make sure because in yesterday's video i was kind of calling people not calling people out but saying that people need to look at this more often um so take dar take dar's attack all oh, okay so we actually need to go ahead and destroy the left hand I, th I think people are probably scared to go ahead and attack the left hand just because people were uh getting a little upset yesterday in the clan because people were attacking the hand when they weren't supposed to be but this deck is really really good on the torso you know i normally like to do it on the head but obviously the head is destroyed so we'll go ahead we'll have to go ahead and use our head deck um on something else or go ahead and make a new deck for this uh specific titan i'll probably do that off camera for you guys but we could still use this deck on the torso we have another torso deck and we also have a limb deck which is we're probably going to do on that left hand because obviously we need to go ahead and finish that off still there we go we're taking 899,000 damage that is actually insane guys we have never got that much damage before all 600 taps we missed one fairy so if we would have had that one fairy i bet you we could have broke 900,000 damage that was insane that was a really really good raid attack i'm really happy with that actually continue continue and we'll go ahead and do another push here hopefully we don't we would not have enough mana so we'll go ahead and do that uh, oh perfect come on activate some thank you just saved me so much mana because i I guess I don't know if that's a good idea. I probably shouldn't have maxed out uh, Hanamitis. I probably should have waited a lot longer until we get, you know, way past our max stage to do that. But I did it anyways. And it is going to cost me a lot of extra mana. But the one thing that I am really hoping for in this tournament, if we can go ahead and craft a new artifact, is one that's probably not going to help me out as much as I think, but would be really, really nice to have, is halving the, the mana cost for Deadly Strike. It is so expensive to activate Deadly Strike. It's insane. And we have to do it twice as often as any other one because all the other skills we have are literally, you know, lasting two minutes. Deadly Strike is still one. Wait, I'm backwards. I'm backwards. Sorry. We have Deadly Strike that only lasts one minute and it, it is reduced mana, but we have War Cry that lasts two minutes that isn't reduced mana. That's what it is. So War Cry, we need to go ahead and get the one that reduces mana. And Deadly Strike, we need the one that increases the time. That, that's what it was. I was completely mixed up, but that's what it was. So either one, honestly, as you can see, it was like 104. I clicked it way too quick, but it was like 104 mana or something like that. I believe a War Cry is like 134, maybe? It's, it's way more than what all the other skills are, which really sucks because you're always activating War Cry. I mean, if you don't have War Cry activated with my specific deck, I am not going anywhere. I'm not doing any damage. It doesn't matter what other skills I have. I could have every other skill maxed out and, you know, active. But without Warcry, I'm not going anywhere. So Warcry is something that you always have to have activated. But I'm kind of feeling that, you know, later on when we get closer to our max stage, Deadly Strike is kind of the same way as well. You don't really go anywhere if you don't have Deadly Strike active as well. Um, for a little while there, I was trying to save a little bit of mana. And actually, the Prestige before I made this video... I was trying to save a little bit of mana and i had war cry maxed shadow clone level one fire excuse me fire sword level one and hand of midas level one and i was trying to go ahead and continue to push but because i didn't have deadly strike i wasn't making any progress uh, one thing i want to do here quickly actually is go ahead and activate our perks we've went all this way without activating them we got adrenaline rush six of them left we're going to go and activate that nice thing about this time is i only have to activate all these skills once so we're only using one of these skills because i'm starting it early in the morning and i'm going to play all throughout the day and then when i wake up tomorrow morning i'll be able to do the you know after after recap uh adrenaline rush we will do mana potion later when i am completely out of mana because obviously when you activate it it completely refills your mana bar uh, so we don't want to waste that and doom we have four of them which is awesome okay so now we're going to go and do one more raid attack here um we're gonna go ahead and do this one and we'll do the limb deck sure one of you guys or lots of you guys i'm so glad i have a community like this you guys are so helpful in the comments i really do appreciate it uh, a couple of videos ago i was talking about spending some dust on upgrading some lower level cards to try to get everything balanced so i can you know try to do good in these raid or solo raids but you guys lots of you guys helped me out and said it's not worth it the solo raid rewards like i've seen before are not really good i thought they were going to exponentially get better and better but it doesn't sound like it and it just takes a lot of time and you know one thing that i was kind of worried about in soul rise was as well people getting burnt out there's almost too much content i'm one of those guys that likes to you know complete everything 100 whether it's you know in other games where it's like mission style 
you know, I'll complete every mission, every side quest, everything like that. I'll try to get like completionist basically. And with this game, it's getting really, really difficult. This was kind of a game that, you know, obviously I make YouTube videos on and stuff like that, but I don't want to have to feel like I have to play every single day for like 10 hours a day because you know if i were to do all the solo raids if i were to you know fully participate and do really well in all the tournaments if i were to do all my rated like clan rate attacks like there's just there's so much content and i think it's almost getting to the point where people like me that you know really want to that are really enjoying this game and playing it a lot and want to you know do everything they possibly can are kind of getting to that stage where they're getting a little burnt out there's almost too much content for the people that are you know really really enjoying it really into this type of stuff so that's just my personal opinion obviously everyone else can have their own opinion um and i'm not saying the thing is i don't want it to be taken the wrong way i love new content i really really do but i feel like there's almost too much actively going on i gotta focus on the event i gotta focus on my clan uh raid attacks i gotta fo uh, focus on my solo raid attacks i gotta focus on tournaments like i feel like i'm, I'm literally if i want to do everything to the best of my ability i'm playing like 10 hours a day not even during tournaments as well you know you guys were saying the best time to grind for dragon fruits is not in tournaments um it's just it's really really difficult uh to kind of keep on top of it and stuff like that and i think i'm gonna kind of focus you know when the raid attacks reset solo raids i think they did actually they did i'm gonna do it as uh you know a more enjoyable take on it you know if we're in the middle of a, a video like a preparation day video something like that where it's not as enjoyable most of the time um as like a tournament i guess uh we'll do some solo raid attacks and i think that'll be something fun to do but i'm not gonna be like okay i have to complete all 50 because i need this or you know i'm not gonna think of it as something that i have to complete i'm gonna think of it as something that i you know want to do every once in a while right and i think that's gonna be a really good take on it because obviously tournaments i'm really really focused on um the event it kind of just comes by itself to be honest with you i don't really focus on the event too too much um really from prestiging and things like that i really get quite a few of the uh of the dragon fruits i haven't been doing amazing this event because i feel like i just haven't been playing as much but that's okay we should still be doing good um but everything else is about to run out here so we'll go like this and i want to show you guys the shop here because we did just join the tournament so we got to go ahead and spend some of our diamonds unfortunately only going into it today with 535 diamonds which just isn't very much but we're definitely gonna go and buy fluffers for mana regeneration we got nova for all damage uh scraps is ranged and non-boss we'll go and do non-boss but i want to save a couple diamonds because we don't have you know an infinite amount of diamonds like we normally do we normally have like 14 15 even 1600 sometimes we don't have a ton so i want to save it for the better pets rather than ranged hero damage but we also got the video chest which i always forget to go and open up on camera so we're going to do that today and 20 raid dust not horrible i do want to take a look at the well, we'll go and do this collect three pets upgrade yeah 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 i'll get the upgrade one artifact later today obviously but if we go and take a look at raid uh dust shop so we have 294 dust i'm not going to be doing that i'm probably going to be saving to go and upgrade this which is 450 so we're not too far away but guys thank you so much for tuning into today's video if you have enjoyed another top Titans 2 video be sure to go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content i will catch you guys in tomorrow's video peace out